All right, I'm going to do an upload in regards to predestination, and I'm going to explain the difference between Calvinism and Christianity, okay? First of all, Christianity is exclusive to a certain group of people. Um, as we know, the Bible was written to the Israelites, okay? The Bible is basically a book that is written about one man and his family, and that man is Adam, okay? Um, Christianity is exclusive because it is a religion where people don't choose Christianity or choose God. God actually chooses his own, okay? Um, that basically can be proven uh, when we read and uh, rightfully divide. So when we're reading certain books, um, the beginning of the books in the chapters basically provide information as far as who the book is written to and or about. Um, it goes into uh, um, geographic location. It goes to certain time. It goes to a specific genealogical record, okay? Now, I am reading on uh, my, um, one of my uploads or one of my posts as far as um, study is concerned, uh, as far as God's Word or the Bible is concerned, as far as who specifically the Bible was written to and for. But that's really not what we're going to get into, and I have not made this uh, public as of yet. Um, so that's basically Christianity. It is, like I said, is exclusive, but I'm going to explain what the difference is in Calvinism and Christianity as far as predestination is concerned. And the reason why is because uh, I just got accused of being a, a Calvinist. <laughs> so um, one person in particular, well, there are several people that are Calvinists, but one person is Keith Truth. We all know who Keith Truth is. Uh, he basically got put out onto the scene and is now begging for money on YouTube uh, and asking people to pay his way in life. Um, he also has other people that are working with him, uh, specifically No Order 1, 1984, holding up the sign of benediction, uh, and these people are basically pushing other Calvinists, such as um, James White, John Piper, uh, Rick Warren, uh, J. R. Packer, D.A. Carson, um, other people like that, okay? Uh, now, if you are a Calvinist, uh, that means that you are claiming John Calvin as your God, but prior to John Calvin, uh, a Calvinist was known as a Cathar or Albigensian, uh, a progression over time that, led, that leads back to the Knights Templars, Knights of Jerusalem, and uh, people that are connected with um, some very evil, evil organizations and and that's basically what these uh, Calvinists are today. Uh, most recently, they are were called uh, Quakers, Pilgrims, um, Puritans, and like I said, today they are uh, Calvinists. Now let's go ahead and go back to the difference in predestination between Calvinists and Christians. Okay, um, the Calvinist as far as predestination is concerned, uh, have made God out to be a very sadistic God. How have they done that? Um, well, they like to point people uh, to hell. They like to condemn people to hell. They like to uh, sentence people to hellfire death. And in the mind of God, that has not even entered into it, okay? So is hell or teaching hell um, biblical? No, absolutely not, okay? God is not a sadistic God like the Calvinists make him out to be, okay? So let's go ahead and read through this. Calvinists say that God chose some to die and some to to live just because he felt like it. This shows God to be a sadistic God. Okay, now Christianity shows a merciful and forgiving God to those who respect him. Okay, so if you respect God, he will show you mercy and forgiveness. Okay, this excludes 
the predestined that Christ specifically pointed out as devil's children, okay, or sons of the devil or sons of wicked one. Um, there are other ways in which to identify uh, the devil's children or Satan's offspring or the seed of the serpent, however you want to refer to uh, children of the wicked one, okay? Other ways that we... Uh, can see in the Bible where these uh, specific people are referred to by God is um, dogs, um, thorns, um, let's see, children of disobedience, children of the wicked one, bad figs, foxes, um, there are just many different ways in which uh, God refers to these specific people who are biologically speaking offspring of the devil. As we know, according to Jesus Christ, they don't belong to God, okay? Now, I am going to also point out um, Chance's uh, blog spot called um, Keith Truth uh, Ministries and... Uh, he is going into an in-depth study in regards to Romans chapter 9, and I will leave an index, I mean, I will leave a link in my index, okay? Um, when you read Romans chapter 9, um, or do the study in regards to Romans chapter 9, keep in mind, as you will notice, that chapter 9 in Romans only speaks about one uh, group of people, okay? They are the people who the Bible was written for and about. They are the Israelites. They are the stars of heaven, the sons of God. And there are also different ways in which God refers to his sons, his own children, okay? Um, so keep in mind, you know, like I said, when you, whenever you're reading the Bible, the Bible was written to and about uh, one guy, and his name is Adam, okay? Um, a lot of people have been misled into believing that um, Christianity can be, uh, that you can be uh, accepted, um, but unfortunately, um, or fortunately, however you want to uh, look at it, um, like I said, the Bible, God's book, was written to his own, his own children. A lot of people will uh, deny that. A lot of people will deny the word of God, and that's the reason why. They are not of uh, God. They don't have the spirit. They have um, absolutely no interest whatsoever in um, following God's word. And so that's, that's people's choice to make. Um, as far as choosing God, uh, like I said, as far as the Bible is concerned, um, people don't choose God. God chooses who his um, children are. He has already chosen them. They are already chosen. His, the names of his children are written in the book of life. Okay. Um, anyways, I hope that um, explains the difference between Calvinism and Christianity as far as predestination is concerned. And have a nice day.